Hi, I'm going to make a short video here for you to show you how to do finger weaving with these cool little weaving loops that you get at any of the craft stores. All right, um, you can get them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, um, you can probably order them online. Uh, they are sometimes called sock loops, weaving loops. You get them in kits with the uh, to make a pot holder, um, but we can weave them just with our fingers like this. You're going to use your two hands only. This hand is going to be your loom. Now I'm right-handed, so I'm using my left hand for my loom. So if you're lefty, switch that and go this way. All right, you're going to grab one loop, and you're only going to use these four fingers, no thumb. The thumb's going the wrong direction. It's going to get uncomfortable and cause your stuff to pop off. So we're going to hook onto our first finger. And see how all my fingers are inside that red loop right there? We want four fingers in there, and this is going to make it a little easier for you. Flip your hand over and tuck your next finger under that eight. Do so you see the eight right there? Tuck under the eight and come in up the bottom. Boop, stand it up and the eight's gone. So we're gonna flip back, make an eight again, and go under, stand up, flip, under, stand up. You can also lift it over your finger. These two are a little hard to do, so you can lift it up. Scoot these threads down. Get a new color. All right, and a hook, flip, under and up, Flip, under and up, flip, and I'm just pushing that one down over my pinky. You can check to make sure you're doing it right if you've got X's in the middle of your fingers. And I'm going to show you one that's wrong. If you've twisted this a couple times, got carried away, all right, it's going to look like that. And that might get a little too tight as you're going and cause you some problems. So you just want one little flip each time. So let's undo that problem. Oops, try and leave the first one on. There we go. Okay, so there I am. I'm going to flip one time, tuck the pinky in. Boom, there we go. Now we're going to pull the bottom one up and over. Right now, you know half of everything you need to know to do this cute little craft. So grab the bottom one from your first finger. Mine is red. So I'm going to go up and over my finger. This is what I call the jump rope. Up and over, go to the back. And go to the second one, jump rope. Up and over to the back. Don't look at the back. It will disappoint you right now. Pull up and over to the back. Pull up and over to the back. Now, you're not going to have anything yet. And you're dying to look. I know you are. Okay, so there you go. Not very exciting. Why is she making a video about this? Okay, well, let's do some more and see what happens. So we have one on here. We're going to add one more. We never add three. Remember, get your fingers in here. Flip under up flip under up flip under up scoot them together you're going to keep doing this over and over don't ever add three or four if you add more you're just stacking and step two is jump rope up and over to the back up and over to the back so if you get three on there you get four on there they're not weaving they're not locking together all right so now I've got one here. I know you're getting excited, but it still doesn't look like anything. All right, let me do a few more, and then we'll come back and see what has happened. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here continuing, and I just noticed, gee, I really should have washed my hands before I started a video using my hands. But, you know, that's teacher art teacher life for you. Uh, my hands are always stained and dirty. I just thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> okay, so now I've added a few more. Now let's flip it over and see what we've got. Ta-da! It's starting to hang off of my hand. And now you can see the pattern of the weaving. It looks a little bit like a braid. Uh, the pieces have looped together. And these are completely adhered to each other. Okay, they're interlocking. They're, they're hooked together. Down here, this one doesn't come out. If you pull hard on one, it will um, start to look like one big loop. But it goes back like this if you just stretch it out. I think about how when your shoelaces are too tight, or too loose how you even them out. So if this starts to look funny with a hole in it, um, just pull the sides to even it out. Um, but this is just a little one, right? And you know, you could stop there and use that for all kinds of things. Uh, we sometimes put these on our luggage handles. Uh, so when we're getting off the airplane and all the black suitcases look exactly the same, we know the ones with these are ours and we can go get our bags right away. All right, so let's see how much longer I can make this. So as I'm trying to make this one a little bit longer, I'm thinking of some things that you might come across that you might um, want to know about. So sometimes 
these are made of different fabrics and they are not as stretchy so like this one right now it is a real stretchy fabric but this particular loop or two um, was real thick and so it's kind of tight on my fingers don't panic as long as you're not double twisting one um, you're going to get it off of there uh, just think about that shoelace thing again right remember you can tug on one end where it's looser once we get this jump rope up and over then I know that red one's going to be looser all along the way and I can pull on it some more so if it gets a little tight don't be too worried um, this fabric that these are made of right here is the same stuff that tights are made of in fact um, I've seen these uh, described as sock loops so when you think about a somebody making socks uh, in a big factory uh, sometimes there's some leftovers or maybe some that has some flaws and rather than waste them can cut them up into these circles right so that's like a piece of sock cut all along the tube of the sock um, or a pair of tights and that's what this fabric is like this is like a pair of tights that has been cut in just little rings if you want to try and make some out of your old tights I bet that you could you do want to get a good pair of scissors if you're doing that it is pretty hard to cut fabric it's it's not easy you want a good pair of scissors when you're cutting fabric um, if you're one of my younger friends I definitely suggest that you get an adult to help you with it so you don't accidentally cut yourself um, but you can certainly make these yourself uh, I have even seen people tie string into little circles and go ahead and do this with string um, it would not be stretchy you would have some knots but still if you had nothing else at home and you were just really thinking about finger weaving which is what we call this activity um, you could make yourself some loops like that so you can almost see where that was a pair of tights um, this looks like some of the sewing uh, that might have happened or the finishing that would have happened along the edge of that piece of fabric and it's real stretchy so pretty cool huh reduce reuse recycle right uh, make art save a planet I love that idea okay I would love to keep doing this but I'm gonna stop here and just show you what I've got you could just keep going it's the same thing over and over and over and over again um, let's see how we finish it off okay so right now I'm going to show you how to tie it and there's a couple different ways you can do it um, you want to get one more of your loops and um, you could do it while it's on your hand or you could slide it off and do it. All right, so to do it while it's on your hand, you're gonna pinch the loop shut and you're gonna put it underneath each one of these. So think about a, a train going through tunnels. The caboose of the train, the, ba the back of it, is not gonna go through the tunnel. So don't pull it all the way through and just make it stick inside your hand like this. Go under each one of these like that. Okay, so now, the front of the train, the engine, and the back of the train, the caboose, are sticking out. So I'm going to grab both of those with my other hand and wiggle my fingers out. Ah, there we go. Boom. All right, so now we have this loop going through the last finger holes. And I'm going to show you just a real easy way to tie it shut so that you can untie it. It's just kind of a form of a slip knot. And um, you can untie it and add to it later on. So push pinch one of these loops shut like a string and push it through the other hole don't pull on the hole Oops, here we go just pull on the string one and then pull down on your weaving and there you go and see there you can go hang that on your book bag or or make longer and make them into headbands or belts now if I want to go back to working on that say you get another big pack and you're gonna see if you can make the world's longest finger weaving right so you can just slide this out slide that off now here's how you put it back on your fingers for my friends who get these at home from class and want to go add to it remember this hangs off the back of your hand so you gotta lay it down just put it on your fingertips right don't lose your little holes it's not a crisis if you do just go to the next one you know how to weave you've got this video to help you All right scoot these back down and then you can carry on with your weaving right so there's piece one we're gonna add the second one and do our jump ropes let me show the other way I tie it so if you don't want to make it go through your fingers while it's on your hand uh, scoot the loops right to the tip of your fingers and then just gently slide out so you can see those four holes and then it's exactly the same thing okay pinch this this is your train there's your four train tunnels all right send it through the four tunnels just like that 
and you want the engine sticking out at the front and the caboose sticking out at the back. Engine, caboose, right? Front and back. And again, same thing. Pinch one side shut, open the other. All right? If you get your fingers in here, you can just reach through and grab that one that you're pinching. All right, don't grab the loop one. Pull here, pull there, and voila, it's done. All right, well, I hope that helps you guys out, and I can't wait to see what you've done. Feel free to send me pictures or messages and tell me about how how great and how long you made these. It's, it's a lot of fun, and it's something you can do over and over and over again. Enjoy!